Welcome back everybody. I am out here in my scrap steel piles because I am looking for a piece of steel to make a sleeve puller out of. Now the four and three quarter inch bore on the D4400 means I'm gonna need a piece of five inch and just by looking at this I know this is a chunk of five inch. I also have quite a few of these blank five inchers over here that I know are five inch so I think this is the piece I'm gonna go with that's about a one inch thick chunk of steel these are all blanks from when I used to do a lot of CNC machining this is what we would grab onto obviously the drill would run straight through and then we would machine the OD and then it would part it off and this is what was left in the chuck and they just got thrown away. They didn't want to waste the time to try and figure out a fixture for making parts out of this little bit of material. That's also back when steel was not ungodly expensive like it is now. But we're getting off track here. This is should be a piece of 4140. So this will be plenty good for what we need it to do. Let's get it in the lathe and see what we can make out of it. We're over at the lathe. I got that piece of five inch in the jaws. I was not able to get it in the outside jaws, which I would prefer for facing. So what I ended up doing was turning my tool, make sure I got enough clearance before I turn this on. I will face it and then flip it and then face the other side. And I will worry about doing this outside diameter once the center hole is popped in. So we'll use this fixture or this setup just to do the facing and the drilling. And then if I have to bore that hole at all, I can do that as well. And we'll get rid of the rest on this side as well. with both sides face now and the center hole popped through there. It's a one inch hole. I can put a different type of fixture in and I'll bring you back when I'm done with that. I got this fixture in here. This was used for a different project. What it has is this little stub hub or this stepped hub and that is my square surface. With that surface being squared to the chuck that means this will be squared to the chuck. I can also take my OD off here, my outside diameter, and not get into my chuck. All we're doing is there's a bolt through the whole works that holds everything tight. That bolt is welded on this end, so it can't come off. Let's go ahead and turn the OD and turn a step in here so that it fits inside the sleeves.
Well, after turning all that off and then shutting the lathe off here, you can really see my cutter starting to get dull. Instead of cutting this stuff, it's just kind of pushing it over the edge. Not a big deal. I'll flip the insert and we'll be able to come in and just clean this up here. There, that looks much better. So let's cut the step in here. I think what I'm gonna do is only come down probably about a quarter of an inch and then we'll be going in the diameter a little over a quarter of an inch. And the reason for that is we just wanna create a step that the sleeve can sit on, but I wanna leave as much material here so that we're not trying to deform this material. And there it is guys, I'll get it out of the lathe here. We'll go over to the bench and we'll just run over measurements quick, show you what we came up with. Let's run over some measurements quick and then we're gonna make sure that this does fit. It should, according to every measurement I took, we're actually a little undersized. Uh, this is a four and a quarter bore engine, so 4.25. So we're actually 50 thousandths under on this step here. This 1.015, that is the center hole. That's for the threaded rod to go through for your puller. This 4.750, that is the outside diameter. That's what this step is that will allow the sleeve to sit on. This top step here is just to keep it centered in the sleeve. And if we come up here, here we are 0.675 thick. And I really didn't pick that number for any reason. That's just what it cleaned up as on both sides. And then here we are 0.249, so we're one thou under our quarter inch. Not a big deal. That lathe is all manual controls. I don't have a digital readout on it, so everything is done with dials. If I'm within a thousandth on that for what this is, plenty good. So back over here on hole number three, the one that did come out, we'll take this. and it is in position there. And it's kind of hard to see, but I can feel the sleeve around each side because the sleeve is bigger than the outside diameter of this. You can see that step in that sleeve there. We should be good to go. So this is the only piece that I needed to make to actually pull sleeves. The rest of it I have on hand, or it'll be a combination of some blocks and stuff that I already have. So I want to thank everyone for watching. We'll put this to use real soon. The other three pistons are still soaking. Well, I shouldn't say that. I, I stood the block up to set this in there, and that's actually draining. So we're going to find out if them other three sleeves want to move. We'll bring you back in the next one.